Thank you for joining me today to see how to use the tab punch to get a really pretty scallop border on the front of a card or a scrapbook page. On front of the card I've attached a small piece of uh, cardstock to the bottom that's going to be part of the background and the other part of the background I went ahead and stamped with a flower image. The main uh, designer paper for this card has a real pretty flower and I want to replicate that in a larger size on the card with a stamped image and some individual little flowers that I've punched and put brads in and we'll hear those in just a few minutes. So I took my background paper and I'm using, um, all these are October afternoon papers, this is an October, October afternoon stamp set, and I took this image and just inked in the stems and leaves with a green marker and stamped that part on my background. And I'm ready to adhere it to the card. put it close to the top. The bottom edge of this is very important because this bottom edge is actually going to be my guideline for creating the border, which is the main thing I really wanted to show you on this card. I'm trying to find some ways to stretch the punches that I have and get a little more, little more punch out of the punches. Um, this one is the um, tabbed punch from Stampin' Up! And the way this normally works is you punch out this odd shaped uh, tab and fold it over and you get a tab that you can apply to um, a card either behind an, uh, a piece of cardstock or on top. It has a really pretty scalloped bottom and it's that actually that bottom edge that's what we're going to use for our border. So I need a line to line everything up. I'm going to add a little bit of glue here before I put my tabs on and I decided to use Tombow adhesive because I wanted something that I could move the um, punched tabs around a little bit. This bottom line is going to line up with the center of each of the tabs and I know that I have a that four tabs will actually be a little bit long for the card. It's a little bit too much so I'm putting them on here, leaving a little bit hanging off the edge, and I'm just butting one tabbed image up to the other, again lining the very center, what would normally be the fold, with the bottom line of this piece of cardstock. Okay. Get those on there. And those will dry. And what I'm going to do then, see, I can see I got one I need to straighten up here a little bit. What I can do then is take um, my designer paper that's cut to one and three eighths inch wide, and I'm going to lay that right over the top, and it makes a really pretty uh, border. So we'll glue that down. What I end up with showing. It's just a scalloped edge border. A little bit of glue that came out there. Edge border. Okay. And when after all that dries, then I'll trim off the edges. In the meantime, I can go ahead and put glue dots on the back of each of these flowers and adhere them down. Okay, now that I have my flowers adhered, then the last step to my card, and I've trimmed off the edges, the last step to my uh, card is going to be to wrap some DMC cord around, go around this twice, And I'll just tie this in a bow, and I'll be ready to attach this card front to a card base. I chose to work with a, a separate card front because the ivory cardstock that I was using wasn't really that heavy, and I thought it needed its own card base. Put 
little bit of glue underneath that and attach this to a card base and that will be our card. Thanks for joining me today and be sure and check out my blog for all of the materials used on this card. Thank you.